Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll tell you how to add coupon directory page into your app. The coupon directory page allows to generate and distribute discount coupons to customers, helping you drive traffic and increase repeat visitors. Now let's see how to add the page. Now add coupon directory page. If you want, you can change the page name from here. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid or outline icon or image from my library or upload your own custom icon image from this section. Now let's move to page style and color scheme section. From here, you can change the page background. If you want, you can change either select an image solid color from my wired library or upload your own custom background image. Next comes layout advanced settings. If you want, you can hide title background and title text by tick marketing their respective checkboxes. Moreover, you can also change title alignment from this section. Now let's move to advanced elements customization section. From here, you can change the page elements color, font style, font size, and indent as per your needs. If you want to hide borders or coupon type info, take mark the respective check boxes here. Now let's add coupons. Click on add coupons button, then proceed to dashboard. On the dashboard, click on create coupon button. A pop-up window, add coupon will appear. Here you need to provide all the necessary information to successfully create a coupon. Let's start with the selecting coupon type. You will see three different options, discount, buy and get free, and scratch and win. You can select any of the coupon types as per your needs. Let's start adding coupon with discount type. In coupon name field, enter the name of coupon. Provide a short information about the coupon and brief description field. If you want, you can also upload a cover image for your coupon from here. Next comes selecting category. If you want, you can customize categories and subcategories from Manage Categories section. Now enter terms and conditions for your coupon. Next comes savings. Here you can select the discount type for your coupon, that is percentage or flat. If you select percentage, you need to enter the discount percentage that you will be provided with this coupon. In flat discount type, you need to enter the fixed discount amount. Next comes validation section. Here you need to set the validation process for your coupon. That is, promo code, pin authentication, or redeem button. In promo code validation, you need to provide a unique code through which the coupon will be redeemed. In pin authentication validation, you can either generate a random code or enter your own unique code for randoming the coupon. In redeem button, you can set the coupon type. That is reusable or, or, or one time only. Here I am setting promo code as validation process for this coupon. If you want, you can show scanner code type by tick marking in this checkbox. Here you will see two options QR code and barcode, which you can select as per your needs. Next comes setting the validity of the coupon. Enter the time period by selecting date of issue and end date as per your needs. From here, you can set the status of the coupon, that is, active or inactive. Once done, click on Save to continue. You will be redirected to the dashboard. Once again, click on Create Coupon button to create another coupon. Select Buy and Get Free as coupon type. In Coupon Name field, enter the name of coupon. Provide a short information about the coupon and brief description field. If you want, you can also upload a cover image for your coupon from here. Next comes selecting category. Now enter terms and conditions for your coupon. Next comes saving. Here you can enter the buy and get value. As you can see, I am entering three in buy and one in get. That is, on purchase of three items, users will get one item free. If you want, you can display view as buy 3 get 1 or 3 plus 1 as per your needs. Next comes validation section. Here you need to set the validation process for your coupon. 
you can select any of the one validating processes, that is promo code, pin authentication, and redeem button. Here I am setting promo code as validation process for this coupon. If you want, you can show scanner code type by tick marking this checkbox. Here you will see two options, QR code and barcode, which you can select as per your needs. Next comes setting the validity of the coupon. Enter the time period by selecting date of issue and end date as per your needs. From here you can set the status of the coupon, that is active or inactive. Once done, click on save to continue. You will be redirected to the dashboard. Once again, click on create coupon button to create another coupon. Select scratch and win as coupon type and coupon name field into the name of the coupon. Provide a short information about the coupon in brief description field. If you want, you can also upload a cover image for your coupon from here. Next comes selecting category. Now enter terms and conditions for your coupon. Next comes savings. Here you need to set the odds percent for lucky card against which the odds percent of unlucky card will automatically be updated. The odd percentage is basically the winner percent for this coupon. Now enter the price announcement text. If you want, you can upload an image for the card from here. Now enter the price announcement text for unlucky card. If you want, you can add image for this card too. Next comes validation section. Here you need to set the validation process for your coupon. You can select any of the one validating processes, that is pin notification and redeem button. In redeem button validation, you simply need to set coupon validity by selecting date of issue and end date. Whereas in PIN authentication, you can either generate a random code or enter your own unique code for redeem the coupon. Here I am setting PIN authentication as validation process for this coupon. Select date of issue and end date for this coupon. Once done, click on save to continue. You will be redirected to the dashboard. On the dashboard, you can check the details of the coupon such as coupon name, coupon type, category, subcategory, and status. If you want, you can also make the coupon active or inactive from here. Click on this icon button to update the category of the coupon. From here, you can delete the coupon. If you want, you can either filter the coupons based on coupon type and status. Not just this, you can also select multiple cards and change their status or delete them in one go from here. If you want, you can create multiple coupons by clicking on create coupon button. Now let's move to manage categories section. Click on Add Category button. A pop-up window Add New Category will appear. Provide required information to successfully create a category. In Category Name field, enter the name of the category. Now, next comes Sorting Coupons. You can either select Alphabetic Sorting or Custom Sorting. If you want, you can add the thumbnail image for the category from here. From here, you can change the status of the category that is active or inactive. Once done, click on Create Category button to continue. On the dashboard, you can check category name, number of subcategories, and number of coupons available. Now click on this icon, you will be redirected to subcategory area. Click on Add Subcategory button, a pop-up window Add Subcategory will appear, provide required information to successfully create a subcategory. In Subcategory Name field, enter the name of the subcategory. Next comes Sorting Coupons. You can either select Alphabetic Sorting or Custom Sorting. From here, you can change the status of the category that is active or inactive. If you want, you can add the thumbnail image for the category from here. Once done, click on Create Subcategory button to continue. On the dashboard, you can check subcategory name and number of coupons available. If you want, you can also make the subcategory active or inactive from here. Click on this icon button to update category. From here, you can delete the subcategory. Now go back to Manage Category section. If you want, you can also make the category active or inactive from here. Click on this icon button to update category. From here, you can delete the category. If you want, you can filter the category based on the status. Not just this, you can also select multiple categories and change their status or delete them in one go from here. If you want, you can create more categories by clicking on the Add Category button. 
Now let's move to general settings. Here you will see some of the settings such as coupons, sharing, show expired coupons, sort category alphabetically, show redeem coupons, currency, etc. which you can change as per your needs. Next comes language settings. Here you will see all the default text currently being displayed in your app. If you want, if you want, you can change the language setting text from here. Now let's move to coupon logs. Here you can keep the track of coupons usage. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.